spring green risotto is a great quick dinner. If I have some fresh and frozen vegetables around the house and some arborio rice in the pantry, I can make dinner in 30 minutes. So I've got some asparagus, about a pound. For this, I like to use thin ones, and I cut them in about one inch lengths. I'm just gonna shock them. It's shocking. What it does is keep them bright green. Every single risotto starts with a base. This is how I make the base. First, you heat one and a half tablespoons of good olive oil and one and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter over medium heat. Add three cups of chopped leeks. I use the white and light green parts. Then add one cup of chopped fennel and saute it for five to seven minutes. When the vegetables are tender, it's time for the rice to go in. One and a half cups of arborio rice. It's the classic Italian risotto rice. Stir it for a minute to coat all the grains and vegetables with a little oil and butter. When the rice is coated, pour two thirds of a cup of dry white wine, you wanna use a good one, and simmer it over low heat, stirring it almost constantly until most of the wine has been absorbed. Then begin ladling in simmering chicken stock, two ladles at a time, stirring it almost constantly and waiting for the stock to be absorbed before adding more. So that's the base. And you can really take it in almost any direction. So the first thing I want to add is the asparagus that I blanched. Right in. And I've got lots of frozen vegetables, which I always have in the freezer. One 10 ounce package of frozen peas to frost it. And I love frozen artichokes, so I'm just gonna put that in. That was eight ounces of frozen artichoke hearts to frost it. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little freshness. I like to use lemon zest in this. I like when dishes like this have a little bit of an edge, and lemon always does that. Parmesan does that. Things that are salty, vinegary. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon of lemon zest, which is a lot. Okay, and then salt. It's a lot of risotto. It needs about a tablespoon of salt. It's gonna really absorb into it. And one and a half teaspoons of pepper. Then just keep on stirring it, adding a little chicken stock as you go until it's absorbed, and then add a little more until the rice is really al dente, just the way you would have pasta. Mm -hmm. Okay, the risotto's done, and I have a few extra things to give it even more flavor. First is mascarpone. It's like really good Italian cream cheese, about a third of a cup. It's just gonna melt into it and thicken it. I'm just gonna stir it right in. The heat's gonna melt it. Can't have risotto without Parmesan. So it's half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I actually grind it in a food processor. I love the texture of it. Okay, now I'm gonna add freshly squeezed lemon juice, about two tablespoons. Just give it even more flavor. You can really use any kind of fresh herbs that you have in the house. So three tablespoons. I love the oniony flavor of chives. It's sort of a mild onion thing. Oh, this is so good. Big bowl of risotto. Mm, love all the vegetables. Maybe a little sprinkling of chive, a little Parmesan cheese. Mmm, this looks so delicious. I think this may be my absolutely favorite risotto. Mmm, so delicious.